I've always wanted to do this. Let's do a quick recap of the videos you can find on my channel. Three years ago I started this channel, thought maybe I needed an intro buffer. Then I took some random shots with a slider and I posted that. Here's my first episode. I hate it. I look and sound like a deer in the headlights. Little did I know it would take years to get comfortable stepping from behind the camera to the front. Quick DSLR setup, good content, still hate the host. Some questions came up, I answered them. Getting white by on set. Quick green screen tut for After Effects users. This is keeping order with all your cables. Next is some lighting tips, then jump cuts, using them or not. A short look at Canova sliders, a DIY jib. I leave the DIY stuff mostly others who were way better than me at it, but it was very popular. I went to the Bahamas, got some gear trash, shared some tips. This is a way to remote into your desktop render to see if it's done from an iPad. Here I covered some lenses. Hey look, I made it to 1500 subscribers, never had an idea I would and wasn't trying to. Here's some basics on getting good sound. This was my attempt to have lenses as the host and talk about themselves. I hate this episode. This is about handling focus on moving objects. Here's my attempt to show some quick color correction steps. This shows some basic gear new filmmakers want to check out. The code of a filmmaker. This is the first video I made I was really proud of. It lays out the basic code for filmmakers to follow. I offer a tip here on how voiceover artists can handle those clicky sounds. Didn't like this one, it's some color correction thing and YouTube messed it all up and looks like hell. Another sound video, this was fun because I made a short music video. Well, not really. This was me covering where I've been and where I was going. This lapel mic comparison video was somewhat popular, a $400 mic against a $20 mic. My first official Q&A video, the shooting sucked and the sound got messed up and I hate it. I like this one, good basic tips to consider on creating a YouTube channel. Halo forward until dawn, I love the Halo series and anything Master Chief. I like this video, it gives some practical drills on writing better. Here's some tips on video editing. This covers some stumbling blocks filmmakers can run into and how to handle them. Here's one on making a shot list. I was very proud of this, Indie Mogul featured my video on their channel. About this time I was getting enough comments and emails to start tailoring my channel requests. The channel had been up a year now and I decided to make the series type thing. The biggest request was on how to handle focus so I made a four part series on everything focus. The next was how you do this and how you do that. It all fell under the heading of people trying to do stuff on a YouTube channel. So I made a seven part series of creating a YouTube channel from start to finish. Here's my next attempt at a Q&A, a bit better than the other ones. This was some people featured who follow my YouTube series and improve their channels. A quick tip on how to fix bad footage. A comment about continuity. Everybody talks about scene continuity, but I wanted to point out paying attention to story continuity. I was getting a lot of subscribers by this time around the world. This shows how to subtitle and caption them so they can understand it. I was getting a lot of complaints from young filmmakers how their parents wouldn't support them. This is my message to both young filmmakers and their parents. Filmmakers need training and here I posted my top three sites. Another video about sound. It's a problem for filmmakers. Room tone. What is it? How to get it. A way to shoot stable footage using a tool every filmmaker has. I wanted to find out what my subscribers wanted to see so I did a survey. Do you know I always include outtakes or something at the end of my videos? This was an attempt at recapping those moments. It was really fun for me. I decided to try my hand at reviews. This is a skater dollar review. The results from my previous survey were very helpful. Here's some shooting tips from a behind the scenes training session. This was a rant, I do that for fun in a while. More on lenses, another Q&A episode, they started to get a bit better. A video about syncing sound and I still don't want get why people think this is hard. How to make a lapel mic out of nothing. Why auto ISO can be a big no-no. Some thoughts on being a film professional. The history of the film look and how to get it. Sharper footage from DSLRs. What focal length is and why it matters. Camera settings video. This is very popular and done really, really fast. Screenplay tips for beginners. Here's another one of my favorite videos. I really go into how to create a commercial that gets results. Tips on writing a story. Here's another one I really like. I wish someone would have shown me this when I started my YouTube channel, how to be in front of the camera. This one was a massive effort at coming up with a balls channel trailer. It's really cool with all sorts of robots and stuff, but in the end, people didn't like it because it didn't reflect my channel. Steven, another one of my favorite episodes. I went to the East Coast and taught him how to create a YouTube channel and he did really great. Here I hit 2013, two years and a quick recap. Next, I tell everyone what's coming. 
Stabilizers are all arrays, so I created a stabilizer series for everything that you could think of. My channel was expanding a lot, I was spending a lot of time handling comments, this was a tip to do so. Here I show you how you can see what's used and where and when when editing. Another Q&A, except this time, I was the questioner and the viewers were the answerers. Lights that flicker, a pain when shooting, here's a video to handle that. This was based on my curiosity about different road mics and whether they were all different. Results from my previous questions asked of subscribers. A quick tip on CF and SD cards. Lighting basics, no idea why this video hasn't received more views. I get asked this a lot and I really go into what it's all about and why. This is how to lock down your camera so things don't change from under you while filming. I was doing a review of the NTG2 and NTG3 shotgun mics and decided they weren't comparable. Here I decided to try a contest with the help of Canova. A quick tip on how to sweeten your voice in Adobe Audition. A cheap way to stop bending pins on that card reader. Here I announce the winner of the Canova contest. I learned that doing contests is a real pain. Here's how to do night shots without any noise. Vincent Lafrey asked that I review his directing motion series. I did and I was seriously impressed. Another quick video on how I set my camera and do color correction. Man, so many people asking how to render videos for YouTube, here's mine. Lots of questions about keyframes, so I explain them. What nesting is, why it's useful in editing, how to shoot plate shots and why. A whole pile of tips in this one. This is a basic editing tip that adds polish to your video. I decided I was tired of sitting down things, so I changed up one of my studios and time-lapsed it for fun. This is some tips about the bane of filmmaker shooting someone with glasses. Decided to have my hand at another review episode with this cool slider painter thing. Here we are about year in. I made this holiday video and poked fun at really expensive gear. It was really fun to make and it makes me laugh. Don't know if anyone else laughs. Here's what happened in last year's video and what's coming. I had been working on months researching all the problems people have with green screens and why these lights were part of that solution. Here's my final green screen editing episode. I'm very proud of this as it took forever to create and covers everything you could want to know about green screens, lighting, editing, compositing, the works. Here's an episode on how to communicate with foreign speaking people. This is an editing tip for punching in and out of shots. Here's another rant video that keeps me entertained. This April Fool's joke got a lot of noise from people as I didn't get it was an April Fool's joke. Another q and I think I finally nailed a Q&A episode. What do you do with ideas? This is one solution. Another attempt at a gear review, I'm getting to the point where I don't think I can do them well. That means I'll keep trying. I really like this episode, it's about using stock footage and I got to put together some cool stuff for it. These next pile of videos were an idea I had for a collaboration with others over the internet. I wanted to have a presentation table for doing reviews, something I will still try my hand at, and this table fit the bill. Another collab video, a lapel mic manufacturer sent me a mic so I did a comparison review. Another collab video, here I wondered if I could do a review in under 30 seconds, so I did. Another collab video. Note, I'm running this channel and the collaboration project now in addition to my regular 80 plus hours a week job. This is where I decided not to post videos publicly as we had all the participants. I never really covered the hows and whys of sliders, so I made this one. Another collab video. Some cases for CF and SD cards, I'm always misplacing these. A couple more unlisted collab videos. Here I went over my channel goals. YouTube at this point had contacted me to see if they could help me with my channel. They were very helpful and I covered what we went over in this video. Another collab video and another Q&A video. Here's another one of my favorite videos. I spent a lot of time on this covering everything to do with sound, mics, tips, tricks, everything. More collab videos and an editing tricks and tips video. An education video but primarily focused on filmmakers with trills on how to learn something. Another collab video and still working on my Q&A videos. This is a stupid simple way to match shots while editing. A few more collab videos. Almost every filmmaking channel has made mistakes filmmakers make video. I decided to make one and to my surprise I stumbled on what I think is the basic mistake that they make. This is additional unlisted content I cut out of the video due to time constraints. You can find that stuff over on my website. Another Q&A video, I feel like I'm starting to nail these. Flippy Cards answers a lot of questions on how to do animations in my video using my editor only. Another collab video, how to nail focus when you're filming yourself. Another collab video, here's an interesting one. I decided to try and open things up to let someone else have their hand at writing an episode and I would film it. I got very few responses and still deciding if I'll make the one submitted due to lack of interest. That's the luxury of this channel. I get to try things out and see if they work or not. Another collab video and an episode on the use of teleprompters for filming. Here's an episode on being able to write better and more understandably. 
another collab video, some simple tricks to getting better dialogue for your videos and films, another collab video, after all this time I finally have the participants na nailed down, an update on YouTube captions and subtitles by request, a tip on one-stop channel branding for YouTube and over 500 social media networks, a couple more collab videos on starting the editing process, in my final 2015 video, another holiday gift guide where I created a basic filmmaker merchandise shop so I could poke fun at it. That's a lot of videos, 182 to be exact. I've said this many times, I don't do this channel to make money or fame or anything other than to help filmmakers. Not in my wildest dreams that I ever think I would have over 32,000 subscribers with 68,000 hours of video watch. I'll continue to make basic filmmaking episodes. The only thing I ask in return is you share these with someone who might benefit. There's always someone new coming on board who is new to filmmaking. I also understand there are people who will grow beyond what this channel offers. And that's exactly why I created this channel. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. The history of the film lek and how to get it. Sharper footage from DSLRs. Why focal length is... Ah!